While the system can accommodate several tax rates, most shops only utilize one. Line 1 should have an X in default. This is the global tax setting that the software will apply. Users can make tax exceptions at the customer, vehicle, or order item level. Please note the system is shipped with the global tax setting defaulted to taxable and set at 0%. It's best to enter your actual current tax rate before customer and vehicle records are created. This will prevent errors and save having to correct them all later. You can create customers with a non-tax status by clicking on the tax button in the customer screen. If tax setting is changed after customer records are saved, you must also change the vehicle tax setting to match as needed. An option has been added to choose an alternate tax calculation method used in certain states to compute the sales tax to be applied. A knowledge base article is available to confirm proper configuration. Press the F1 key for help Click on the Knowledge Base link on the left, then enter Florida in search. Select the Florida Sales Tax Calculation article from the search results. Shops usually rely on their accountants to break out any city, county, or other taxes at the accounting stage. Some may prefer creating that breakdown here. Please confirm tax strategy with your accountant before finalizing tax entry here. The Compound Tax table allows you to set up compound taxes that can be applied to inventory part items. These taxes are only applied to parts and are typically used for tires. You can specify up to two excise taxes. If there are two excise taxes, you specify which tax is applied first and which tax is applied second. Please note, in most shops only the standard tax rate table will be used and no setup is required in this dialog window. The excise tax options will not be visible to apply in the inventory record window unless a compound tax has already been configured here in setup.